last year yeah. when Simba Bora got promoted. There was a lot of pizzazz, you know, around uh, Simba Bora. And uh, in fact, it's so colorful. You know, I've been to Wazanai Stadium before and uh, the fans, the atmosphere is just colorful. What, what, what is really inside Chinuchenyu, you know, that brings out all that color? Whether on the pitch, in the stands, there's a lot of color. Yeah, um, this idea is, um, is inspired by, by passion. There's a lot of passion in Zimbabwe. As you know, Chinuchenyu officially started in 2008. But it actually started in 2005. That's how we came together and figured out that we need to bring football to Shamba. So a lot of pieces were coming to the puzzle over a long time. So people became so attached to the idea, and people are very passionate to the idea. So the impact um, of Simba Bora as a club is not only on the TV when you see players Mm -hmm. Play. It's not only the brand that Simba Bora you see. The grassroots of Simba Bora, it really has an umbilical cord to the grassroots, to the basis of humanity in Shamba, in the province, much central in the country. Uh, are you a marketer? <laughs> 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 okay, right. okay. What's, okay. What's you know, something humanity and your blue? So you see, it has come to a point where even as the founders, it has grown bigger than us. And um, it's because of passion. It's not only us who are passionate, but everyone who is involved is very passionate about, about Simba Bora. Hmm. You know what, just, just listening to him, I actually feel What almost? They have been called So there are, many, there are so many ingredients mm. um, that come in play when you want to have a brand or a football club like Zimbabwe. So many. I can't mention everything. No, I'm, I'm sure you're going to share the nuggets and all that. Yeah, yeah, so um, I, I, I also want to bring in the Couch Squad into this. Yeah. But what I want you to take us through. Yeah is when you got into the Premiership last season. Because we have seen a lot of teams coming from Division 1 got into the Premiership, and it's a totally different ball game. Yeah. And many of those teams have gone back. You have and puffed, but managed, you know, to hang on. Yeah, though it happened towards the end of the season uh, that you secured your place in the top flight. But what lessons did you learn? Because just now we're going to see the lock standing. It's, it's telling a totally different picture from the, the team that we saw last season. What, what did you learn that you implemented and now you're riding high amongst the big boys? Um, one thing is patience, Howard. Patience. Um, football is not easy. That's why it's the most beautiful sport. It's never easy. Number two, you need, to, you need to create an environment that allows players to, 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 to excel. You need to create an environment that gives comfort to the fans. You need to create an environment that makes sure that management and the committees and the coaches excel and are comfortable. That environment, you, you can't have a straight up formula on how you create that environment. I think that's when we go back to passion. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we can talk all about <laughs> last season and and and, and uh, Johnny waxing lyrical here, trying to <laughs> sell us whatever know, they are trying to do. You, there. Know, you know what? I'm actually thinking, hey, my job might be at risk here. <laughs> so let's let's limit his screen time, please. <laughs> so one more point, um, Howard. Um, this season, I've been in, in football for a long time, from one Africa, from '98, '97 up to now. Uh, this season, we have one of the most disciplined uh, team of players in my whole entire career. I don't know how this came about. I think our recruitment at, 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 at Simba Bora was on point. Our players are disciplined. They're different from the team of guys we had last season. Let, let me bring in Albert <laughs> Maninji. <laughs> um, he's talking about discipline. Uh, is Tonderandaraya uh, using an iron fist on you guys? 
<laughs> I think um, it does play a part. Um, this is someone I think he recommends uh, or he speaks highly of, of, of discipline mm -hmm. in his team. So I think, yeah, it can be a major point to, you know, to what we are doing probably this season. I think the more discipline we can do, I think the more we can achieve, we can achieve more. It's your premier football show, The Couch, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazetium Prime, DSV Channel 294, the place to be.